Hello YouTube, welcome back to a new Clash Royale video. In today's video, I'm on my main account. Uh, which is kind of strange since my main account is usually higher than my level 1 account. But I got kind of tired of the ladder up at 4,000 trophies. So. Hmm. I had to reload the game. The thing kind of crashed. Well, yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to show a screenshot right now. So this was my level 11 account, like two days ago. I dropped down below 2,000 trophies, and I plan to push back to 4,000. So, yeah, I'm just gonna troll people. I'm gonna use my main deck. I could probably use uh, other stronger decks. Actually, I'm still using my main deck. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do uh these stronger decks. You just practice them against these uh lower level players. So this video I might just title it uh trolling lower levels. So against the level eleven. Oh and this is the thing. The matchmaking system in Clash Royale is totally messed up. When they match up uh, your opponents, they give you people at your uh, similar uh, trophy high. So let's say you made it to 5,000 trophies and another guy made it to 5,000 trophies. The game will always match you up with uh, people who made it to 5,000 trophies. Now obviously this is kind of a problem when I was dropping in trophies. Because most of the other players were also dropping, so I faced lots of level 11s and 10s and 12s just dropping in trophies. And it was just painful. And I couldn't really do much about it. Okay. I'm not really paying attention in the match because these matches are just the matchmaking system is kind of broken. In my opinion, the best way to fix the matchmaking system is to um, uh, limit um, card levels. So this means if you're level 11. You can't get higher than level 11 comments. If you're level 12, you can't get higher than level 10 rares, and so on and so forth. I think this way, the matchmaking system would be much more fair. And... Card, and people won't be complaining about uh, overleveled cards. There's, like you see, this guy is around my trophy range. Okay, I got some good bandit hits. Some good bandit RNG. So the matchmaking system is kind of rigged in a way. Because you're always going to be forced to collect people. Uh, around your card level which I really disagree with I mean people at your similar uh, trophy count or your same personal best I totally disagree with that I feel like it should be people with uh, similar uh, king tower as you and people uh, people with the same card levels as you because uh, another example is that someone in my clan 
beat the number one player. Not even lying, uh, they beat the number one player at the time. And you see, this happens a lot. Or I get matched with people whose lightning tower my. Good game. Who just uh, spell my towers, thinking uh, that I'm a, a noob or something. And someone pushed back to 4,000. Yeah, so it's kind of just mindless. Uh, I'm not. I don't really think too much in these battles since they're all super easy. Yeah, so this guy's a personal best of four thousand. This guy four thousand a hundred. This guy four thousand two hundred. So this match up with people around the uh, this guy has a trophy best of three thousand. But the point is the match up with people around their similar uh, trophy high. And the search continues. I'll be back when the match begins. Okay guys, I'm in a match now against level 8. Obviously this might be his personal high. I feel bad, you know. Messing around with these lower level players. Level 7 giants. So yeah, he has the cards of level 9. Which is strange because uh I faced the level 10 like before the season reset. I faced the level 10 and he had the cards of level 12. So like level 10 hog rider, level 3 uh, electro wizard, that's kind of crazy. They should really prevent these over, these over leveled cards. Yeah so he has uh, tournament standard cards, it's, it's not that bad. And the sad thing is, I'm just slightly over leveled compared to him. Just slightly. Just slightly. I see if he drops anything in the poison. I mean, in the graveyard, it's like the poison. And spawners aren't the, uh, annoying for me. Because uh, aura equal levels. And these level 10 new barbarians are just funny. Positive that you trade 3 for the guards and 6 for the guards. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing these types of pushes with the solo graveyard. Let's see if he drops the. Okay, there we go. Poison. I have a level 5 poison, which is the same as level 8 rare. Yeah, not doing too bad. Oh no. Now you're worried.
super easy to beat these guys. Like, no skills required. And I imagine for low level players, it must be so painful to face spawners. GG. That was too easy. These matches. I'm gonna do a couple more matches. Let me show you guys what I face as I drop down. Okay, I could get the cannon part. Another funny thing is that on my low 1 account, I haven't unlocked the executioner. But on the free chest, I got the cannon card. And I haven't gotten the cannon card on my main account yet. Main reason is, when a challenge came out, I didn't even try it. Because I already knew. No, the, no, it wasn't because of that. The reason I didn't try the challenge was because um, I had like a 31 streak. I had like 31 win streak or something at the moment. And they want to lose the streak. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot done. Oh well. He sort of punished us for dropping a pump. But yeah. He's the thing about these lower level players is that they overcome it way too much. Now our towers have about similar health. I'm gonna do an ice skull and graveyard push. Okay, perfect timing. The execution is more distracted. Just as long as I'm locked onto the guards, we should be good. That's tower down. That's not long good. I want to take them on a ride with the ice cream. Oh, Let's watch him punish me for the push. I kind of gave him the tower as charity. He has a pretty decent strategy. Not gonna lie. The tower should go, go down there. Very some hit points as well. Feels bad being higher level. I'm not even trying. I want to defend the tower. Make him work for the. Make him work for it. He must be complaining that he's facing all these overleveled players. And I don't know how it feels to get the level disadvantage, especially towards the end, uh, the end of the season. When there's a bunch of um, Royal Giant players, and it's just very painful. So that's a uh, GG. I think they didn't get the tower. <laughs> Rip. So I think th this does it for the video. I'm gonna push up a bit higher in my own time, but if you did uh, enjoy the video, check out my other videos. Uh, thanks for watching and peace out.